Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Every soul praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Someone praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Every soul praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you're coming in him from, I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. May God see to your situation. May God hear you. May the Almighty Father be with you for eternity. In Jesus' name, amen. May he shadow us with his fire, with his power. May everything we lay our hands on, may we prosper. We are here again, amen. We are here again, Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control, amen. We are here again, we are here again, Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control, amen. We are here again, amen. We are here again, Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Oh. Walking in the light of God. So walk, walk. I say walking in the light. I say walk, walk. Walking in the light. So walk, walk. Walking in the light. Walking in the light of God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. I say walk, walk. Walking in the light, so walk, walk, walking in the light, I say walk, walk, walking in the light, walking in the light of God. Welcome in the name of Jesus. Somebody welcome in the powerful name of Jesus. Everybody welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we adore you. We lay our lives before you. Oh, we adore you. Spirit of God, we adore you. We lay our lives before you. Oh, we adore you. What a mighty God we serve. Serve in the Lord. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. We serve in the Lord, what a mighty God we serve. Serve in the Lord, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Even another dog, him, even angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. We serve in the Lord, what a mighty God we serve. Serve in the Lord, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we, we serve. Oh Lord, my God. Our excellent is your name in all the 
how excellent is your name at the mention of your name every name shall bow every tongue confess that jesus you are lord oh lord oh lord my god how excellent is your name in all the earth, how excellent is your name, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, everlasting God, you are the most high. Messiah, you are the most I God. I say you are, you are, you are the most I God. You are, you are, you are the most I God. Jehovah, you are the most I. You are. The most high, I go. Father, you are welcome into this midst, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And before we start anything, I invite you from Asia, continent of Asia, Africa, Australia, Atlantical, Europe, North and South America. As you view, share this video with somebody. Let somebody receive their blessing this morning. May the Lord help us and take us all to a higher ground in Him, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 At this point, brothers and sisters, we're going into prayers. Just come and pray wherever you are. It doesn't matter. Whether you're joining me on Facebook or you are joining me, just vain. It is well. Do something. May the Lord grant us that salvation without fear, without too much struggle, without, without trembling. May the peace of God grant it for us in Jesus' name. And may we walk the walk so that we will never be denied our salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Father in heaven, we thank you for this blessed morning. Thank you for this Sunday, Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh Lord, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over. Everything that belongs to us, everything that we are, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over, take over. Father, take over of our lives, take over of our children, take over of our husband, take over of our entire foundation. Take care of all of your children. The work of your hand in the whole world, the seven continents of the world, take care of us in the name of Jesus. Let us be obedient to your word and the blessings that will come with it make it permanent in our lives. Oh Lord, every obstacle to distance, let them be removed by your grace. Let us write. Even when we go prodigal before you, you are full of mercy. And on the days, oh Lord, Father, of your wrath, remember mercy. As spoken in Habakkuk 32. Father, remember your mercy. Remember your mercy. Remember your mercy in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Right now, I'm going to keep going because we had a night vigil. We've been doing this for four weeks now. Many are tired, but it is the God's will. <laughs> that I'm surviving. Amen. We've been having it every week. And we pray 24-hour prayer. And something is about to happen in Israel. It will be God's doing in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to keep singing. He loves me. I do not know why. Jehovah loves me. I do not know why. On Calvary, he went for me. He lost me. I do not know why. Papa lost me. 
I cannot say no. My yali rahiba, he loves me. I cannot say no. On Calvary, my Savior went for me. Jesus loves me. I cannot say no. He is able, abundantly able, to deliver and to save. My God is abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him. My God is able, he is able, abundantly able to deliver and to say, My God is able, abundantly able. To deliver those who trust in me. I say, Come and see the light, the light of the world. Jesus, you are the light, oh, hello, hello. Come and see the light, the light of the world. Jesus, you are the light, oh, hello, hello. I say, come and see the light, the light of the world. Jesus, show the light, oh, hello, hello. Come and see the light, the light of the world. Jesus, show the light, oh, hello, hello. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who will never fail. I have a God who will never fail. My God never fail. He will never fail. I say forevermore. Amen. My God never fail. Amen. Jesus never fails. Amen. He will never fail. My God never fail. I say, He will never fail. I say, forevermore. Amen. Jesus never fail. Amen. My God never fail. Amen. My God never fail. He will never fail, my God never fail, forevermore. He's alive, amen. You are alive, yes, I sure am alive. Forever you are my life, amen. You are my home, amen. You are my home, Jesus. You are my home, forever you are my home, amen. You are my all, you know. You are my all, Jesus. You are my all, forever you are my all. Amen. Father Lord, we want to thank you this morning. We're going into your word. Let it become a lamp unto our darkness. Oh Lord, whatever we're doing wrong, that can hinder and hamper and destroy our blessings. Because God is full of grace. He even said in the book of Psalm, 130 verse 2, he said he honors his word, the word of promise of God, above his name. Therefore, anything that want to separate us from that love, from that word, according to how God has laid it down, oh, Father, Jehovah, we employ your majesty, we employ your glory, your honor, your power. Send down your archangel to come to rescue. The rescue, Daniel. If fasted for one day, you answered. But why was the blessing? The blessing of Daniel, they were delayed. Hmm. Is it our human flesh? Is it our way of life? May the Lord help us more and more. 
and no more destruction, no more delayed. When we ask him, he said, ask in my name. John 14, 14, and it shall be done. What is our hindrance? Our human nature? Our ways that are not pleasant and pleasing to God? Let there be a deliverance this morning in the name of Jesus. Daddy, let your word of promise be established in our life. As we listen, let it do something miraculous in our lives. Change our stories. You've done it before. You spoke that word. You spoke it into Anna. Even Anna was still doubting. You said, this time next year, regardless of human nature of Anna, I'm sorry, woman nature of Sarah, Sarah Abraham. Human nature that can destroy our blessings today. Oh Lord, separate them from our life. Let your glory, your honor. Even Zechariah, a great priest of God, in disbelief, you told him, you're going to have a son. Ha. He looked at the wife, they were very old. He looked at himself, they were old. So he, he doubted. And God said, because you doubt me, you'll be dumb. It was the day Zachariah was to be named on the eighth day that the Lord, as he wanted to write on the tablet, the Lord opened his mouth to speak. Ah, Father, let us be strong in you. It doesn't matter what we go through because we know you will be the final answer. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah. Lead us to that path. Be our God till the end. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Who has a final say? Jehovah has a final say. I say, who has a final say? Jehovah has a final say. Jehovah wrote my life around. I need to my life around. Make a way where is the mm -mm. Jehovah, Jehovah turned my life around. Who has a final say? Jehovah has a final say. I say, who has a final say? Jehovah has a final say. Jehovah turned my life around, and it turned my home around. He made a way where there is no way. Jehovah, Jehovah, turn our lives around. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going into the world. Come with me to Malachi. Malachi chapter 3. I'm reading from 10 to 12. And we're here. Just a summary. It says, bring your tithe into the storehouse of God. <laughs> Why? Where is the storehouse of God in heaven? Did you study? The storehouse of, of God is in the sixth heaven. There are seven heavens. Some believe there are three heavens. Therefore, if you believe in three heavens, then the storehouse of God will be in heaven number three. And that's where God lives. But the seven heavens, so God, he, the storehouse of God, where treasures of God, where blessings of God stream out. When we pray for open heavens, that is where it is. What it is, that's your story. But there should be a precursor, you hear me? A precursor, a catalyst to quicken the open doors of the sixth heaven. For God to pour down is blessings. It says, come with me to Malachi 3, 10. And it says in my Bible, bring ye all the tithes into the house, into the store house, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me, prove God, 
You're going to see those who prove God and they were blessed. Okay. When it says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open, I will not open the windows of heaven. When we pray, blessings come down from the storehouse of God. But we need a catalyst to quicken that thing. Not our human behavior, not our human nature. It cannot open the storehouse of God. We need to do the right thing at the right time for God to open that windows of heaven and pour down his blessings. What is the catalyst? Number one, paying tight. Our human nature, we need to be careful. We need to change it. I'm talking to myself too, because we are all of flesh. Spirit of anger, grudging, unforgiven heart. These are those things, the blood blessings. God cannot live. He cannot behold the evil. He said in the book of Habakkuk, God cannot behold evil. Apocalypse chapter 1, I believe it's verse 13. God cannot behold evil, iniquities. Yes, Apocalypse 1, 13. So this morning, I don't know your story. Read the rest when you have a private time. Study the word and make yourself approved for the things of God, for the blessings of God. Bring your tithes into the storehouse of God. Don't question no pastor. We're all going to give our account. If a pastor sees you're struggling, you pay, you only make like a thousand dollars a month. And you need to pay rent, you need to feed your children, you need to pay bills, and you pay it tight. How much is left? $900. You cannot even pay for your mortgage. And the pastor keep taking, keep taking. You know what? It's helping you because the Lord will, one way or the other, bless you. You're never going to lack. Remember what he says in, in, in Psalm 34, 10? He said the lion will be hungry. The papa lion, hallelujah. The mama lion, they will all be thirsty, every one of them. But if you love the Lord and you keep his ways, you will never lack anything good. He will be your supplier, pay your tithes. Don't question me and tell me, oh yeah, but that was in, in those days. That that law was in the, the law of Moses. Excuse me. Come with me to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews 7. Come on down. Hebrews 7. And what did he say in the book of Hebrews 7? The book of Hebrews chapter 7. And I'm reading from King James. Hebrews 7. And I'm reading one to two. For this Melchizedek, Melchizedek, hallelujah, Melchizedek, amen. I got the spelling right. So he was the most high. He was king of Salem. Listen carefully. Prince of the most high God. Who met Abraham returning from slaughter of the kings and blessed him? To whom also Abraham, he met Abraham, a Levite, a king, blessing Abraham, and Abraham paying tight in return to bless him. Let me read again. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, was king and a Levite, doing the things of God. Okay, who met Abraham returning from slaughter of the kings and blessed him. We don't know what blessings, but in return, see what Abraham did. To whom also Abraham gave a tent. Don't tell me Jesus didn't come to destroy the law. He came to renew it. Don't let us deceive ourselves. He came to renew the law. Why all this law? Because where there is no sin, there won't be no law. Where there is no fire, there won't be no smoke. Hmm. So, to whom also Abraham, you hear me, gave a tent. 
part of all. First being by in, in, interpretation, king of righteousness, and after that, also king of Salem, which is king of peace. Look at the king, the king of peace, king of Salem, a Levi, he has a part, the qualities of a Levi, the quality of a child of God, the quality learning to give, and in return, you shall re the Lord will return to you bountifully. He gave, Abraham gave tenth of his two. You hear me? There is blessing in giving. You're trying to unlock the treasures of God. You're trying to unlock the storehouse of God. And try this, maybe it will not open for you. The windows of blessings and pour down those blessings from above in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come with me to the book of Exodus. Exodus, Exodus 1, 9 and verse 18 as well. Exodus, come quickly. We're going into prayers. We need to pray more. Exodus chapter uh, 1, and I read from verse 9, and it says, And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. If your way pleases God, it will make your enemy to bow before you. It will make them your footstool. When you do the right thing, it will fight your battle. And the gate of hell will never prevail. Amen. Exodus 1. He made the children of Israel mightier than the enemies that are oppressing them. And verse, 19, verse 18. Let's see what it says. And the king of Egypt called for the midwives. <laughs> they want to kill you. They cannot find you. You are shielded. You are under the shadow of God. That shield can never fail you. If truly you serve God. You are covered by the blood. I am covered, covered, covered by the blood. I'm walking his way. I'm leaning his walls. I am covered. Cover, cover by the blood. Jesus has rescued me. Are you covered? I am covered. Cover, cover by the blood. I am leaning this world. I'm walking his ways. I am covered. Cover, cover by the blood. Jesus has rescued me. Are you with me? If your way, you keep the commandments of God. In this body of flesh, you surrender it to Christ to put you. Anger, all obstacle, name it. Hatred. You know what? Color is nothing before God. The blood that runs in your veins, in your arteries, the same thing runs in me. I don't have a different kind of, maybe the, when they're doing a, a serology and they want to know, they want to tie you and see what kind of blood type you have. That is different. It's the same blood. Okay? It may be different based on the average factor, but be careful. It's the same blood. It says in the book of uh, Romans 8, if you read it, he made us in his own image and he told us, listen carefully, nothing can separate you from the love of God. Ah, what is wrong with us? Not even the angels. Do you know the work of the angels? The archangel, all kind of angels in heaven, they run errand day and night, Fu, vu, 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 from heaven, down, up, down, up, down. They are done. A second, they bring blessings back. Ah. Why aren't we receiving? <laughs> Learning to know how to tap into the things of God. Do what is right. You tried. Stop paying your tax. If he will not open the gate of abundance for you. If God will, will not put down his blessings from his storage, storehouse, where he keeps them. Ah, if you open it, 
Do you know, in that sixth heaven, the snow comes down. Blessings from God. We have, st we have storm. It's a blessing because there is a purpose for all these things. But it's when our ways are not pleasant to God that those blessings can turn into a disaster. Amen. You see? See how the world turns to. See what we're going through right now. Our, our way is pleasant to God. We're going to get there shortly. And then in, verse, in Exodus 1.18, And the king of Egypt called for the midwives, they called them the, the witches, <laughs> and said unto them, Why have ye done this thing? They are the old woman, the witches. And they use their witches wisely. Like Maria Magdalene, Lord help him. He became an evangelist, the first woman to preach. Even he took it to town where the apostles were and he told them he is risen, a form of evangelism. Who told you you cannot evangelize because you're a woman? Excuse me, what about the woman at the well? Hallelujah. Come and say the man who told me everything. And the sister's husband is not even yours, woman. Ah, you say, how do you know? I'm a woman of, 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 of where? Samaritan. We're not allowed to speak with the Jews. Ah, she could have missed the salvation that day. Be careful. Learn to give. It says, give me water. It says, uh uh, this is the water from the well. I'm not even allowed to speak with you. He didn't know. She did not realize she met with the Savior to change her stories. Do the right thing, my sisters and brothers in the Lord. Let us be an example for those who are seeking the face of God. Don't let our behavior run them away. And they wonder, are you a Christian? Huh? What kind of a Christian you are? Huh? May the Lord help us. Amen. May the Lord help us, sisters. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, that being said, he said, why have you done these things and have saved the men, children, the, the male children, in order that they, they should be killed at birth? When the Lord is for you, who can be against you? When you're doing the right thing, the Lord will fight your battles. Amen. You can forgive. Those who wrong you, you want to grudge for eternal. How many times should they wrong you for you to forgive? Seventy times seven. He told Peter, "Why are you questioning Peter? What did I teach you? I told you, Peter, seventy times seven. Be counting the purpose. Don't use your time wisely. You counting? How much somebody look at you with an evil eye?" How much somebody despitefully use you? How much somebody call you names? How much somebody, oh Lord, do you have time for that? You're going to be keeping diary? <laughs> God wants you to use your time better. Be on your knees to let God hear your voice and change the heart of stone of those who are troubling you. Pray for your enemies. Emmanuel, it's a hard task that must be done. Have you tried? You try from today and see what God will do. Amen. Matthew 119. Quickly, quickly. Matthew 119. Matthew Mark. Look and join. Matthew 1. Why are we going to Matthew 1 and verse 19? Now, the part of Jesus. No, 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 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man. Hello. You see the blessing. He was a carpenter. And people are still belittling Jesus. Isn't that son of a carpenter? Out of nowhere, Jesus will send you glory when you do the right thing. And through him, we can receive our open heaven from above from his father. Amen. Don't be deceived. There is no many ways to heaven. It's only one way. Hmm. I don't get it. It's only it's only one way to heaven. 
Tell me how many gods we have. And then if there are many ways to heaven, who will be gods in all those ways to heaven? Hmm. There's only one true God. It's spoken in First Corinthians. You start chapter 8, start from verse 1. By the time you reach 4, 5, 6, it will let you know there is only one God. And he's the only creator that we should seek after. There cannot be other power by which you, by which I and my home, by which we all can be delivered. Hmm. Have you tapped into the things of God lately? Are you going to change your mind? Are you going to do not let your human behavior be a hindrance to the open heaven of God where treasures of God are? They are kept there. And without a catalyst, it can quicken your prayers. And no bad behavior can be a catalyst to prayer being answered. It, it cannot quicken. It would delay your blessings. Daniel was a righteous man. And see what the devil even did. He obstructed the young angel. Daniel 10, 12. So Michael came to rescue. The first day I prayed, the first day he prayed, the young angel said, God has answered you, Daniel. The prince of Persia obstructed me. Hey, see, if your will will please God. He fasted 21 days, and Michael came to rescue and opened that treasures of God and answered Daniel. Are you going to change your ways and have the archangels in heaven open that door of treasures of God for him to pour down? Blessings for your life. Are you ready? And lastly, Joseph. Why am I using Joseph as a sample? If it were you, if it were me, hey, your wife, even ungodly friends, your wife was pregnant and he called it a spiritual based. Hey, he said the spirit of God he gave her belly. Hey, you're going to take that promiscuous wife? Hey. You know, she's no longer a virgin because how did she get pregnant? Hmm. Don't doubt God and what power he has and what he has in store for those who believe. Amen. Amen. Hmm. A physical man, he has not so much. A carpenter, he began physically the father of our Lord Jesus Christ, being conceived by the Holy Spirit of God. He must have seen something in a mother of Mary, the mother of Christ. He must have seen something that he didn't appoint nobody else but winning that woman and winning that man to be the father. When your way pleases God, Proverbs 16, 7. Let's go. And then we're going into prayers. The book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs. Proverbs 16, 7. And it says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he, make his, he makes his, even his enemy to be at peace with him. Saving in this morning. Have you prayed lately? Have you surrendered to the cross? Have you done something that will pray that will please God for Him to turn around your stories? Look at those He turned around their stories. The woman with the issue of blood, He didn't have no money. He came with faith. For 12 donkey years, He was looking. He was bleeding. She was bleeding, looking for the Savior. And one day, one day, he said, ah, ah, in faith, these are the catalysts. When you do the right thing, there will be a catalyst for you to quicken the result of your blessings. He went in faith, said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment. Instantly, she was healed. You pay tight. Accompanying with faith, you pay tight, you don't, you, you, you grudge, you curse. What else do you do? Hey, 
You can't forgive. You said over your living body or dead body. Who are you? You don't even know if tomorrow you will be alive. Let us go into prayers. You don't know. You have no clue. Let us change our ways. Before we start, begin to confess to him. Tell him, Father, have I sinned? Like the man in the book of Luke, 1822. He said, you don't commit, you don't do a, a fornication since your youth, this, 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 you kept all commandments. He said, but you still like one thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. What is one thing that you lack? That even when you pay tight, you don't see blessings of God. Even when you share, what is one thing that is obstructing your blessings? You know who you are. I don't know. Begin to confess your sins as we go into prayers. What is one thing that brought us the whole universe to the level we are? Haven't we heard about infectious diseases before? Haven't we had one before? Why is coronavirus destroying the whole seven continents of the universe? Confess your sin, and as you do so, confess the sin of your, even your generations, your ancestors. They, say, they ate sour grapes. They were disobedient. Here we go. We were not supposed to be struggling, suffering. That was the garden of eternity. They messed it up, starting from Papa Abraham. What is your story? Begin to confess it. What are you doing wrong? They were disobedient. And the Papa Abraham was supposed to be the head in the garden. We was too busy tending to the animals that he forgot to take care of his soulmate, Eve. And the devil was so cunning, he came to destroy, he came to steal her. He came to kill that salvation from the Garden of Eden. What is your story? What have you been doing that does not please God? You do everything, but you still lack one thing. Begin to pray, confess to him. I surrender i surrender all i surrender i surrender all oh to thee my blessed savior i surrender all. i said i surrender i surrender all i surrender I surrender all, all unto thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender. Father, do not let the yoke of sin be a burden for me and my household. He entrance to our blessings. The rich man, he came to Jesus. He was looking for salvation. Surprisingly, he lied one thing. He didn't know how to give. Hey, he lied one thing. He did not know how to share his riches. The moment the Lord saw him, so go and go to sell everything you've had, all your riches, and give to the poor. Hey, he was lost. He was so disappointed. What did you bring? Pray for your salvation this morning. What did you bring to the world? What are you going to take with you that faithful day? What you have is not even yours. It can be taken from you in a minute. Begin to pray. Father, confess. What am I doing wrong? That will not let you bless me. That will not let me witness your open heaven. And you pouring out blessings from your storehouse in the sixth heaven. Father, help me. Hear me. Bring your tithe into the storehouse of God and try him and see if you now open the storehouse and bless you that the world will not be able to contain and people will look for you and wonder, how come? Where did you get that money? 
Where did you get that car? He can make things possible for you. Look at Abraham. He wasn't waiting for the king of Salem to even bless him. But from praying tight, from a Levite to a Levite, both of them were blessed. Are you going to start to give? Tell Papa God to give you the grace. Father, give me the grace to share my testimony in you with others. To share what I have with others. Not just financially, in every area. Jehovah, help us. Help us. Help us. For we have no other help but you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hebrews 7, 1, 2. Begin to pray that, Father, give me the grace to be, to be able to follow your word. This is your word of promise, that when you do this, this will happen. Jesus did not come to destroy the law, I believe. But how do I get there for the Lord to hear me and bless me? From today, never let me pay for anything good. Begin to pray. My human nature, do not let it separate me from your blessings. My children, my home, my husband, the work of my hand. Oh, Father, the whole universe is in your able hand. The whole seven nations of the world, I pray this morning, from Africa, Asia, authentic, my Lord, my Father, from Europe, Australia, North and South America, Father, let us learn to be obedient. There is no other way to heaven because the heaven you're going, you're looking for God. Really, you don't want to go to hellfire. And who would be God there when you have so many ways <laughs> leading to heaven? No, it's only one way to heaven. And it says, I want to remind you this morning as you pray, there is only one God. Therefore, there will be only one way to God in heaven. For you to reach God, have you trusted in him? Do you believe there is only one way to heaven through Christ Jesus? You can't reach the Father except through the Son. That's how he laid the law. The honor of heaven and earth. And how did we get to where the whole world economy crumbled? Lives are lost. Marriages have been dissolved. Divorce everywhere. No job. Businesses are crumbling. Father, let this prayer of this morning be a catalyst for the revival, restoration in the four corners of the world, healing in the name of Jesus. Because we all lack one thing. Do not let our human nature destroy us more and more. We can give, we can abstain, we can keep Ten Commandments, but we don't know how to give. We don't know how to share. Even if you don't have, have you prayed lately even for your enemies? Exodus 1, 9, 18. In that way, God will make you mightier than the plan of the enemy. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. I surrender to you, Father. Make my life mightier than powers and principalities invading me, even my privacy, even my testimony, even the blessings from your storehouse. And lastly, you remember, if you are obedient, and if you do this, all these things, like as promised in Exodus 28, if you do all these things and you are obedient, ha, huh, blessings of God will never fail you. Proverbs 16, 7, it says, if your way pleases God, even your enemy, they will be at peace with you. From today, every situation. Father, let my way please you. My ways, let it please you. The ways of my house, of my children, my husband, let it please you, Father. Therefore, every power that will hinder your open heaven for healing for the whole universe. Because a prayer of one soul can rest to the all of us. All of us. Whatever will hinder our blessings, will prevent us from receiving from above. My Lord, my God, Jehovah, Jehovah, we surrender them on Calvary. Put all of us with your blood and water. Make us whole, make us over again. That your blood that will never stain. Make it wash us and make us white as than snow in the name of Jesus. 
We want to thank you, Father. We want to thank you for your blessings that will never fail. More and more, visit the seven continents of the universe. But then your blessings, turn the heart of men to you. Let all of our ways be pleasing to you, Father. In continent of Africa, continent of Australia, Asia, Antarctica, Europe, South, and North America. Father, do these things and let us receive healing from this COVID virus. Because only what you want is our ways to please you. And all this plague, plague in our lives, they will cease from today. And we surrender to the cross, Father. We declare you, Lord and Savior, heal our diseases and iniquities. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Lord reigne, let the earth tremble. He reigne, let the earth tremble. My God reigne, let the earth tremble. My God reigne, let the earth tremble. The Lord reigne, let the earth tremble. I say, He reigne, let the earth tremble. My God reigne, let the earth tremble. He reigne, let the earth tremble. Hallelujah, it's a heavenly language. It's a heavenly language. Is a heavenly language. I said today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise in a new beginning. Oh, today, oh, I will lift up my voice in praise for I know, for I know. You are always there for me. Oh, my regard, oh, my regard. You are there all I have. No matter what I face, when Jesus comes my way, I will praise his name. You need a catalyst. Hallelujah. Today, oh, hallelujah, eh, eh, eh. hallelujah, oh. forever, hallelujah. Eh. Father, we thank you today. We thank you because our faith looks up today. You lamp of cavern, Savior divine, hear us and heal the land in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Join me next Sunday, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. People from central part of America, join me at 10. If you're coming from the West Coast, join me at 8 in the, in the morning. If you're coming from Africa, it depends on where you're coming from. If you're coming from east part of eastern part of Africa, you join me at 7. You join me. The time zone, see, even in, in Africa. You join me. Plus seven, 4 p.m. 11 plus seven, yes. 11 plus seven, 16 minus 12, 4 p.m. If you join me from maybe West Africa, it's still 4 p.m. You see, the time is constant, okay? But the time zone is different. They will be calling from, from there by their time zone, which will be it's 7 p.m. In, in, in West Africa, it will be 5 p.m. No, excuse me, it will be 4 p.m. But we're all meeting at the same time. You add 5 if you're coming from West Africa. It's still 4 p.m. If you're coming from maybe South Africa, you add, I think it's 6. You're still coming in. It will be 5 o'clock your time, but you're still coming in at the right time. Okay, and those in the continent of wherever, East Coast of Africa, you come at your time. It will be seven your time. You hear me? It is well in Jesus' name. If I mess it up, find out. Just join me. Africa, West Africa plus five, 4 p.m. Your time is my 11. 
if you're coming from south of Africa plus six, your 5 p.m. is my 11. If you're coming from East Africa plus seven, therefore your 6 p.m. is my 11. God bless you. And you are blessed today and may that peace of God. Let us do the right thing from today. And you are highly favored among men. And may that grace of God never fail you or me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. See you next Sunday. Join me for Watch Party and save a soul with this video. Learn to give and God shall return it in multiple to you. It is well. And you never know. You can meet with the Savior that way. Amen. And your salvation never denied. Bye, everybody. And God bless you. Bye now. Join me for Watch Party. Amen.